Hi, and welcome to the video course Configuring a Windows Server 2008 Network Infrastructure, designed to prepare you for the 70 642 certification exam. My name is Patrick Lohner, and I'll be your instructor for this course. We'll start with a little bit about my background. I've been in IT for just under 15 years. Uh, for the majority of that time, I've worked as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Uh, training from Windows NT uh, all the way through the current version of Windows, which is actually the next version, Windows Server 2012. Uh, in the training centers that I've worked at, I, I worked in, in a training center for about eight years, two different training centers, uh, and I was also the administrator. Uh, myself and a couple of other individuals really did all the problem solving, uh, server upgrades, we managed Active Directory, Exchange, DNS, DHCP servers, uh, installed and configured routers and firewalls, did system imaging, and of course all the hardware and software troubleshooting. Uh, the second training center that I worked at did more than just training. We were also a consulting service, uh, so I went out on a lot of uh, different support calls and things then at that point when we weren't doing classes. And for about the last seven years, I've been working as a freelance a trainer and network consultant. I deal heavily with Active Directory uh, networks and of course then DNS and DHCP uh, and other related systems in those networks and I also deal heavily uh, with Microsoft Exchange. So it's my hope that I can give you all the information in this course that's going to help you to be very useful in a production environment that uses Windows Server 2008 uh, as well as to prepare you for the exam. So well, let's go through some of the topics uh, quickly that we are going to go uh, that we're going to talk about in this course. Uh, we're going to start out with some very very useful information. Uh, installing and configuring Windows servers, just going over the, the different versions of server, and then we'll quickly get into networking. And uh, you know, even if you don't have any, uh, even if you don't have any background in networking, I'm going to tailor this course to try to make sure that everybody's on the same page initially. So we're going to talk about some TCP IP basics. We're going to talk about IP addressing, uh, IPv4 and IPv6, because Microsoft on this exam is going to assume that you know those things. Uh, a lot of that is just assumed knowledge. So we need to go over some very uh, critical information and some very useful information. We're also going to talk about using DHCP and setting up a Windows Server 2008 machine to uh, assign addresses. We're going to talk about the importance of DNS as a name resolution service, both for the internet as well as for your intranet. The fact that it's required for Active Directory and the features of using Windows Server 2008 and 2008 R2 as a, uh, a DNS server. We'll look at file and print services, so sharing files and folders, uh, extra security that you have uh, with those permissions. We'll look at some great new capabilities in 2008, such as the File Server Resource Manager and the capabilities it provides, uh, branch cache feature in Windows 2008 uh, R2 uh, as well. Uh, we'll look at securing then Windows servers and network communications, a few different topics related to security. And up to that point, I think everything will be relevant for just about everybody's environment. These are features and roles that generally everybody uh, uses in some capacity. Okay? Then you have to realize we're going to get into an area where you may or may not be using Windows servers to be a VPN server. Uh, for direct access, to be a router, uh, to do network access protection, to be a RADIUS server. We're going to talk about all of these topics and they definitely relate to network infrastructures. They are definitely objectives on the exam, but they do represent some areas that are not quite as common for organizations to, uh, to implement. Uh, we'll come back around and we'll talk about uh, disaster recovery in Windows servers and using the Windows Server Update services, uh, you know, both topics which are very relevant in both production environments and uh, for the exam. So again, tailoring the course towards the certification exam, but at the same time, I want this to be as useful to you as possible in your production environment. Being certified is one thing, you know, being able to get in there and work on Windows Server 2008 is another. I'm hoping to accomplish both. Let's get started. 